Hey there, this is Dutch, and today I want to show you my magic button. As you can see here, I have a button, but there is no redstone whatsoever around it. Not on the bottom, not on the top. And we have a light. But, despite there being no redstone, if we press this button, the light will go on, and if we press it again, the light will go off. Now then, to build this, to start out, you simply place one block with a redstone torch above it. Then put four blocks, remove the bottom three, put a bottom facing um, piston, then a block under that. Up here is going to be where your button is. Then uh, at below this, put a six, six blocks like this, and another block up here, which has a, a redstone torch. Then put some redstone wire here and a repeater set to two delay. And finally, for our output, we're going to need a block over here with some redstone dust. Now, if we press this button, as you can see, the power from the button gets uh, basically moved to this block over here. And we have our magic button, which is flush with the floor, like this. And the way this works is basically um, because of pistons being able to be powered from two blocks uh, above instead of one block. Uh, however, it will only fire once it receives updates, and that's what this clock is for. Um, this is basically making sure that there are that this block here is being constantly updated because it is next to this repeater. So in uh, in order, the piston is also constantly being updated. So once it receives power from this button, it will extend and once it loses power, it will retract again. And that's basically how this works. Um, now, there are some things to note about this, um, especially about the clock. Because as you can see, over here, I use this clock. Uh, but over here, I actually use a different kind of clock. Now, both have their advantages and their disadvantages. The disadvantage of this one is that it is a manual clock. So if you uh, build it, you need to manually start it up. Uh, another disadvantage of this one is because it is so fast, it will likely cause more lag on a server. However, the advantage of this one is that because it is so fast, the button is very direct because it's basically constantly receiving updates. There is hardly any delay. Um, the same goes basically in reverse for this one. The advantage of this one is that you don't need to manually start it. The uh, disadvantage is that it's slightly slower, which means the button is sl also slightly slower. However, that it is slower does make it more server-friendly, causing less lag, and stuff like that. Um, if you're wondering how I made this setup over here uh, with the lamp, I will show you real quick. Here we just have our button set up with a repeater for our output instead of redstone dust. doesn't matter, both work. Uh, we have this going into a T flip-flop which is basically this part over here. This is the output of the T-flip-flop. Um, this is basically a T-flip-flop design, which is only one block wide. And I think it is also stackable if you put a repeater here instead of some redstone dust, uh, which is pretty nice. But you can use any kind of T-flip-flop. It doesn't matter. And we just have that going into the lamp over here. So that's how this works, uh, for those of you that were wondering. And yeah, I think that's uh, all you can really take away from this. So uh, I hope you liked it. And if you did, then uh, please do check out my channel because I have uh, a bunch of other Redstone videos and I will always be releasing more as well as I have a uh, really active Let's Play. Uh, I'm posting videos every day on that. So uh, yeah, if you like my stuff, do check that out and I'll see you guys later.